Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to use the free included Figma email templates in the Emailify Figma plugin, which you can then customize and use as a starting point for your own brand and content designs. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and then you just want to search for Emailify. So that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y. And under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify item, you can run that plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon to add it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already clicked on the save icon. So I'm just going to go to my Figma canvas, right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on Emailify. And that's just going to run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to design HTML emails in Figma, which you can then automatically export to production ready responsive code from the plugin directly. So you'll notice that the first thing it shows is adding a new blank emailify frame. So this is the default option where you can basically create a new template uh, and then add it to your Figma page. So we can click on this add new emailify container and that then will allow us to start adding components, which we can then customize and spin up our own designs with our own content and brand pretty easily. And then preview that as real HTML and work on that responsive version as you'd expect. But if you don't want to start from scratch or you haven't started building out a component library yet, or you just want some inspiration or you just want to figure out uh, a bit more detail about how the plugins uh, features can, can potentially create layouts. What we can do as an alternative starting from scratch is go back to the new email uh, page. So we can click on this little plus icon here. And instead of adding a new blank emailify frame, what we can do is click on the browse emailify Figma templates tab. And this is going to load up over a hundred emailify ready free Figma templates that we can duplicate and customize and grab components from to create our own email designs with our own brand as a bit of a head start. So instead of starting from scratch, you can basically just browse through here, find something that you like or would like to sort of emulate or something you just find interesting. And you can click on any of those and duplicate it to your own Figma account for free and start using it straight away. So we can take a look at a couple of these now. So for example, if we click on this Netflix template, that's just gonna open up a brand new tab in the Figma community page. And we can go ahead and open that in Figma by clicking on this open in Figma button. So just go ahead and click on this blue open in Figma button. And that's gonna open up a brand new tab and automatically duplicate that Figma file to your drafts. And you can see it's got the little community uh, word in brackets there, just letting you know it's been duplicated from the Figma community. And you'll notice that on the left-hand side here, we've got all of these layers that were originally created using the Emailify plugin. So that's the way that it works. The Emailify plugin basically helps you to create these uh, layout components. So these have all been added initially, either from the layouts tab over here, or by using the quick add features down here and then just customizing the design and content using Figma. And then we end up with something like this. So you can see here that the layout's reflecting the Emailify structure that you'd expect. So we've got rows, we've got columns inside of those rows, and each of those columns can have a bunch of content stacked. So you'll see here that we've got a really uh, condensed layout. It's using components. So we've got the same component up here that we've got reused down here. So it's a very uh, flexible sort of template in this case. So if we were to add, edit this font, you can see that that's updating for all of those instances. And so this is a really uh, nicely designed Emailify ready template. And the good thing about that is if we click on the preview button, you will see the real HTML preview is looking really, really good uh, out of the box. So you can see here, we've got all of our content. These are all individual images. This is all real HTML text. And these are real HTML buttons that you can then customize and use for your own designs. So what we could do is if you wanted to reuse some of this content or customize it, we could either customize it in the template itself here and either hide certain sections uh, like this, just removing them or deleting them, or you can actually reuse these components in a new email. So for example, if we added a new Emailify frame, so I'm just going to call this uh, test template 
and add that to our page, we can actually move or duplicate those uh, components into this new template as well. So if we drag and drop, for example, this row here, so we grab that and drag and drop it into the new template, you can see here that it's automatically adding that into the template there. Same thing for these buttons. If you wanted to add those in there, you just copy paste them. And when you preview that, those will automatically be good to go. And so you can sort of mix and match as well. If you wanted to grab some components from another template, you just spin up that uh, new email panel again, click on browse emailify Figma templates and find a different email that you wanna grab some components from. So for example, if we scroll, scroll down and see uh, some other things that we might like, you could basically grab another template and duplicate those as well. So we're just gonna grab this one here. And again, that's gonna open up the Figma community tab. And all we need to do is click on the open in Figma button. So I'm gonna click that again. Once again, that's gonna duplicate it into a brand new tab and add it to our drafts. And again, you can see here, all of the layers are good to go. And then it's just a matter of copy pasting these components into our other frame. So we can just jump back into our other tab here, paste those in and rearrange them as we need to. So you can just drag and drop those around. And if we wanna grab the footer, for example, we can do that. So we'll just grab this one. And of course you can customize that so we can change that fill to be darker or we can just make it black like the other ones and then click on preview. And you'll notice that all of the components that we just put together all kind of mix and match. And you don't have to worry about any issues because these were all originally designed using the Emailify plugin. So this can be a really uh, easy way to get started if you're new to the plugin or even if you're experienced with it and you don't want to go to all the trouble of manually uh, designing all of these components yourself. Using the built-in free Figma templates that the plugin offers is a really good way of automatically uh, grabbing some of those components which you can then build on and again customize to your heart's content. So for example you can obviously change the fonts, you can change the content, you can change the logos so you would just swap out uh, these layers, you just get rid of that image and drag a new one in there and that would automatically uh, update that. So yeah we can basically change all of this uh, to be whatever we want and that's going to get reflected in the template as you'd expect with the plugin. So for example, we could change this, we'll make that red uh, as well and make the text uh, white in this case to match the other button. And when we refresh that, those changes will automatically get included as well. So yeah, and I'm not going into all of the details about the mobile customizations and things like that, but there's a lot to explore there. If you basically just click on any of these layers, then click on the settings button, either in the preview window or the settings button in the main window. You can then do things like override font sizes, you can override padding, uh, you can override a whole bunch of stuff, whether something is visible on mobile or desktop, and basically just go through and add all of these mobile overrides. So you can change these things in your settings, and then when you open that up on desktop and mobile, you'll be able to see those overrides taking place. So we just overrided the font size on mobile, and you can see what that looks like there. If we turn it off, that's gonna get reflected back in there again. And then finally, once you're happy with the email design and you've checked it out in the preview as we just had a look at a moment ago, you can then export that to production ready HTML by clicking on the export HTML button in the top right here. And then basically just select the emails you wanna export. So in this case, we can export both of these if you like, just to show you how to do that. And you can do things like add your subject line and preview text to those as well. And then you can choose what platform, if any, you wanna export it for. So you've got all these integrations. If you're using something like Klaviyo or MailChimp, you can automatically paste in your API key and that will upload it to MailChimp for you. Or for example, Klaviyo or any of the other platforms you might be using. But today we're just gonna be using the simple download to your computer option and export it to an HTML file. So I'm just gonna click on export to HTML and that's gonna go through and automatically export all of the images, generate all of the HTML code for me, and then allow me to download that as a zip file. So it's just finished exporting. I'm just gonna click on download your zip file, save that to my desktop. So then if I unzip that file, so I'm just gonna double click on my zip file and open that up. So if I just open up my finder and open up that folder, 
can see we've got our two emails that have been exported. So the index.html file inside of both of those folders named the same as what we named our Figma frames. And we've also got this previews file. So we can drag and drop that previews file into our browser. And that's gonna give us a nice preview page showing us what the design's gonna look like on mobile and desktop. And we've got both emails on here. So you can see this is real HTML code that we've just exported. You can see it on mobile as well. So we can change the width of that mobile device just to make it a bit easier to see what that looks like at different widths. And that's basically it. So we've got our nice preview page. And again, you've got the real emails that these are being loaded from inside both those folders. So we can just drag and drop that into the browser. And then we've got our full email there and that's looking really good. And again, you can see all of that code here just by going to the view page source. And that's all of the HTML code that's automatically been generated by the plugin, ready to go and use in your own email uh, sending platform of choice. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you what that looked like as a final step when you're ready to export your HTML. And hopefully that's been helpful if you're interested in learning more about the plugin. As I said, you've got a whole bunch of templates. We've got 102 templates in there at the moment. So you can feel free to browse all of those, uh, duplicate them again, totally for free and use them as inspiration or reference or just really quick way of spinning up brand new components without having to manually design them. So you can basically just mix and match those, customize them with your own content. And that's gonna give you hopefully a really quick head start at creating your own email campaign designs for your own brand with your own content. So yeah, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.